In this lecture, we will learn the usage of the before script and after script keywords. So here we will create a new pipeline. So here is the configuration of this pipeline. So here we give a name to the pipeline using the workflow and the name keywords. So we call it social media account manager. And here we have one job. We call this job share post. And here we have the script of the job. Okay. So first of all, here we echo the account owner and then we cut the content of the username.txt file. And then we echo the text sharing post just to simulate uh, sharing a post. Then we sleep for 10 seconds. And finally, we echo the message post shared successfully. So let's uh, commit the changes and see the execution of the pipeline. So now the pipeline is triggered. So we have only one job and it is called share post. Uh, here we see that the job fails. So the entire pipeline fails. And the reason here is that because there is no file called username.txt. So the cat command doesn't found any file with this name, username.txt. So let's go back here to the pipeline editor. So here we need, first of all, to create this file, the username.txt file, where we will store the username. So here we will create the username.txt file using the echo command. So we will store this name in the username.txt file. And here we can add some other commands to simulate login in to the account. For example, we will echo username. And then we cut the content of the username.txt file. Then we will echo password. For the password, here we will uh, just show some asterisks. And finally, we will echo the message. Uh, you are logged in to your account. So here we create, first of all, the username.txt file, and then we simulate uh, the logon function to the account. So now if we commit the changes, the pipeline will work as expected, but here it is better to execute these commands before the main script of the job. And this can be done using the before script keyword. So here in the before script section, we mentioned the commands that we want to execute before the main script of the job. So now whenever the pipeline is triggered, this job will start first of all by executing the commands mentioned in the before script and then it will execute the commands of the main script of the job. So let's commit the changes. Now the pipeline is triggered. We have only one job and it is called share post. So now the job was completed successfully. So here we see that we start first of all by 
uh, executing the echo command to create the username.txt file. And then we echo the username. And then we echo the password. And then we move to uh, the echo command where we display this message. You are logged in to your account as we specify here in the job, okay? So the job start first of all by executing the commands mentioned in the before script, and then it moves to the execution of the commands mentioned in the main script of the job. So here after showing this message, we echo the account owner. So here we echo the content of the username.txt file as we Mention here in the main script of the job. Then we echo the message uh, sharing post. Then we sleep for 10 seconds. And finally, we share the message post shared successfully. And we can also specify the commands that we want to execute after the execution of the main script of the job using the after script keyword. So for example, here we can uh, delete the username.txt file using the run command. So we will delete the username.txt file, and then we will echo the message. You are logged out. So now the commands of the after script will be executed after the execution of the main script of the job. So let's commit the changes and see the execution of the pipeline. So now the execution of the pipeline uh, finished. So here we see that the job was succeeded. So here after uh, displaying this message, post share successfully, the pipeline moves to the execution of the after script of this job. So first of all, we remove the username.txt file, and then we echo this message, you are logged out, okay? As we specify here in the after script. Now let's add another job. So now I will uh, create a new job. I will call it a uh, delete post. And here in the script of this job, I will copy these commands. So here we will echo the account owner as we did in the share post uh, job. And here, instead of executing echo sharing post, we will execute echo uh, deleting post. Then we will sleep for 10 seconds. And finally, we will echo the message post uh, deleted successfully. So here in the delete post job, we have to create first of all the username.txt file as we did in the share post job, because here we will need this file when we execute this command cut username.txt. So we will copy also the before script. to create the username.txt file and to simulate logging into the account. And we will also copy the after script to specify the commands that we want to execute after the main script of the delete post job. So now similarly to the uh, share post job, the delete post job will start by executing the commands that we mentioned in the before script, and then it will move to the commands of the main script. And after executing the main script of the job, it will move to the execution of the commands of the after script.
Here, because we have the same set of commands that we want to execute before the main script of the share post job and the delete post job, we can specify the before script at the pipeline level instead of the job level. So we will copy the before script from the uh, job level and we will move it to the pipeline level. So now this before script will be executed before the main script of all the jobs. So let's uh, remove the before script section of the delete post job. The same for the after script. So here we have the same set of commands that we want to execute after the main script of the share post job and the delete post job. So we can specify the after script at the pipeline level instead of the job level. So now when we trigger the pipeline, the share post job will start first of all by executing this before script and then it will move to the execution of the main script of the job and after that it will move to the execution of the after script. The same for the delete post job, so it will start by executing this before script and then it will move to the execution of the main script and after executing the main script of the job it will move to the execution the after script so now this before script will be executed before the main script of all the jobs of this pipeline the same for the after script it will be executed after the main script of all the jobs of this pipeline so let's commit the changes and see the execution of the jobs. So now the pipeline is triggered. So now we have two jobs. One is called delete post and the second one is called share post. Let's see the execution of the delete post job. So the job was succeeded and here we have first of all the execution of the uh, before script. So here we have the execution of the before script. We create the username.txt file, then we echo uh, the username, the password, and then we display this message. You are logged in uh, to your account. And then the job moves to the execution of the main script. Here is the execution of the main script. We echo the account owner, which is Bob. Then we echo the message deleting post. And finally, we echo uh, post deleted successfully. And after the execution of the main script, the job moves to the execution of the after script. So here we delete the username.txt file and then we echo uh, you are logged up. So that's for the delete post job. Let's see the execution of the share post job. So the same for the share post job. Here we have the execution of the before script. And then we have the execution of the main script. And finally, we have the execution of the after script where we delete the username.txt file and then we uh, display this message, you are logged up. So to specify the commands that we want to execute before the main script of the job, for example, to install some libraries or dependencies, we use the before script. And to specify the commands that we want to execute after the execution of the main script of the job, we use the after script keyword. So that's all for now. Thank you very much and see you next time.